Hello, thank you for joining us for the 95th birthday celebration. Lottery Park Plate is great. I'm host Roberta Villa with my co-host. Maya Villa. And right now, along Garvey Avenue, we are looking and listening to the Northern Shaolin Lion Dance and Kung Fu Association. The Northern Shaolin Lion Dance and Kung Fu Marching Unit is directed by Ken Lee. The team has been established in the Los Angeles area for 31 years. The group teaches Chinese Kung Fu and weaponry at recreation centers throughout Los Angeles, including the communities of Alhambra, Monterey Park, Pasadena, Upland, Roland Heights, and Whittier. The team specializes in Chinese line and dragon dancing and performs very frequently for festivals, parades, and special events. And now, Maya, they're performing for the judges. Okay. Let's see them now. coming up Ray Villalobos with the American Legion Post Commander. He is also our Grand Marshal. Welcome him today. Ray is the current Post Commander for our local American Legion Post 397, a position that he has held for the past three years. Ray has been a member of the American Legion since 1964. He has been instrumental in reviving the Legion. While serving in the military, Ray was on Honor Guard Colonel's Orderly 11 times. Let's congratulate our Grand Marshal for joining us today. We also have the American Legion Auxiliary Unit 397 joining him, waving that American flag. The American Legion Unity 397 started in 2010 and is led by President Lily Anaya. As a group of dedicated women volunteers, the auxiliaries support our veterans and that community by providing many services. And you and I are definitely pro-women, pro-women activism. <clears throat> that is exactly what Monterey Park is all about today, what Play Day's Parade is about, family, patriotism, patriotism diversity. Here comes Mayor Pro Tem David Lau, who has served two times as mayor. He'll be mayor in September for the third time. He has an MBA degree with over 35 years of corporate management experience and served on numerous community boards. He was elected to the Garvey School Board and served for nine years and three times as president. Through his two mayor's installation dinners, he donated $25,000 to the library and $15,000 to 10 public schools for scholarships. Mayor Pro Tem Lau is joined by his wife today, Cece Lau. Cece is an actress and the program chair for Friends of Monterey Park Library. She recently appeared in the movie Hop and Grey's Anatomy. Wow. TV. Right behind uh, Mayor Pro Tem Lau, Maya, is little Sippo the Clown, Princess Crystal Buck. Crystal Buck is the granddaughter of Sippo the Clown. Sippo the Clown used to be in all the parades when you were really little. And um, it was many, many years. And now Crystal is carrying on the legacy of her grandfather. She is wearing one of his clown costumes. And I know that you have uh, love for your grandfather. Now it is time for the I clown costume for him. That's right. There went Sippo the Clown. Drum Major Darren Tay, the Matadors are performing the Ancient and Honorable Artillery Company by John Philip Sousa. Finish off the, they want to finish off the year looking forward to a four-day tour to Arizona. Let's listen and share their music.
your band coming on Maya. San Gabriel. This what is the is San, this band from? it's the San Gabriel High School band. What do you know about San Gabriel High School band? Oh. The San Gabriel High School band are here are happy to be here today for the 24th annual Play Days Parade. Under the leader of junior drum major Darren Tay, the Matadors are performing Ancient and Honorable Artillery Company by Philip John Philip Sousa. To finish off the year, they're looking forward to a four-day tour in Arizona. How exciting! Thank you for letting them share their music with everyone today. is with council member Teresa Real Sebastian. She is the newest council member, a resident of Monterey Park for more than 17 years. She's an attorney, a businesswoman, a former commissioner on Monterey Park's Economic Development Advisory Commission. She wants to promote healthy living, green practices. That's why Teresa decided to walk the parade road and invited kids to join her. She is married to Armen Sebastian. She is Pesco vegetarian, and I also happen to know that she participated in a bike run because we recently saw her at council chambers, remember? And thanks for joining us today at Monterey Park's Play Day Parade. My name is Roberta Villa. And I'm Maya Villa. We are your co-hosts today, the 95th birthday of Monterey Park's Play Day's Parade. She doesn't want me to say that I'm her mother. This is your first time joining me today. I'm so excited, and I'm glad that you're able to join us here at home. It's a family event at this parade, and so what better way for a mother-daughter team co-hosting? Mm -hmm. Hi, Mace. This is the Crans Intermediate School Band. The Cougar Band, Tall Flags, and Drill Team hail from Al Monte, California. These 7th and 8th graders proudly represent Charles T. Crans Intermediate School, one of two middle schools in the Mountain View School District. The band is under the direction of Mr. Jim Bynum, a two-time Teacher of the Year awardee and Los Angeles County Music Center Bravo Award nominee. Miss Mitch Rodriguez leads the drill team in her 14th year with the group. At full strength, there are 83 members, 60, 63 band, 12 drill team, and 8 tall flag. Leading the performance today is drum major M. Rick Donner. performing for the crowd and the judges. And now I see the Wells Fargo Stagecoach. Wells Fargo Bank presents its symbol of legendary service, the Stagecoach. Since 1852, Wells Fargo has transported customers by Stagecoach where the railroads did not reach. Wells Fargo is now forever linked with the image of the Stagecoach, charging across the vast plains and high mountains of the West. And I happen to know that in downtown Los Angeles, at the Wells Fargo's branch, I, I think it's near 3rd and... Um, by 1st and 3rd Street, you can actually sit on a real stagecoach and have a simulation of what it was like when they traveled across the country by stagecoach. It's always great when Wells Fargo joins us. I love to see horses in the parade. Yeah, those horses are beautiful, the giant creatures. They are. <laughs> Bear on 
Montessori schools. Uh, the only accredited Montessori school We have another Monterey school Park coming up, Maya. The Mayor Montessori School. school. Mayor Montessori school. This is the only accredited Montessori, Montessori School in Monterey Park. Park. The Mayor Montessori School has been serving local families for almost 40 years, educating children from two and a half to 12 years old. Joining these children and parents is the founder and executive director, John Page, and director Adela Munoz. The kids look so excited to be in the parade today. A very good representation of what Monterey Park life is like at the Monterey Park Play Days Parade. Thanks to Monterey Park TV, MPK TV. Maya, didn't you have a friend that went to Montessori school? Yes, I did when I was younger. How are you? Yes, you are. Looks like we have parents and children in the parade. Monterey Park is one of the greatest places to raise your children. We have great schools, great parent involvement and great council support. Who is coming down the street now? Coming Ladies down the street now is council member Anthony Wong. Anthony Wong. He was elected in 2007 he was elected and was re-elected in 2011. He was re-elected in 2011. Just, uh, just now. Thank you. Wait. He currently Welcome serves on the following committees and boards uh, as city uh, representative. California Communities Housing and Finance Agency needs to own housing program and the alternate for the sister city commission. There goes Anthony Wong, Council Member Anthony Wong. Uh, you're keeping you busy. They're keeping you busy. Um. Now we're welcoming Rio Hondo Preparatory School Band. Could you tell us a little bit about the band, Mom? They are a leader in educational innovation. Rio Hondo Preparatory School of Arcadia, California offers a range of both academic and extracurricular activities that enhance the student's learning experience and are just plain fun. Of all the activities each student will enjoy, none compare to fun of middle school band and drill team. Rio Hondo Prep participates in many parades throughout Southern California and has won numerous awards under the direction of Mr. Dan Kirby. I'd like to thank them for joining Monterey Park at our Play Days Parade. That's David put on. City clerk. He's David our city Barone, clerk. Who I've known for a long time. And David Barone, Barone has been city clerk for so many years, Maya. Uh, can't you just see him again? Since before you were born. He's so dedicated to the city of Monterey Park. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. And he's in a fine guys, vehicle today. Marshall, I want you to welcome our wonderful city clerk, David Barone. Now, he tells me. He tells me secretly, I am told, that he's going to quit this job and go make a living. Two years? Well, we're going to have you for two more years. 
You know, anyone who watches the Monterey Park City Council meetings recognizes that voice because David Barone is the one who helps all the residents come up to the microphone and voice their concerns, uh, their representation to the City Council. And if you go down to City Hall, there's David Barone's City Clerk's office. all right. I got to tell you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. And Thank we know you, that he's friend. excited about See Monterey Park's 95th birthday. 95 years. Yes, we do. Oh, the city of Monterey yes, Park. Yes, we do. And right behind David, I want you to welcome the Dana Middle School Hi, David. How are you? the city of San Pedro. The Dana Middle School Band Mark and Ben is proud to perform the eighth time in the Play Days Parade. Now we have another school coming up. Looks like it's Dana. The Dana Middle School Band. Representing the city of San Pedro, this Dana Middle School Marching Band is proud to perform for the eighth time in the Play Days Parade. Since the year 2000, under the direction of Ephraim Nava, this award-winning band has won sweepstakes awards and championship ratings at events throughout Southern California. They recently represented their families and community in the Hollywood Christmas Parade. How exciting! Mm -hmm. Additionally, they have performed for seven consecutive years at Disneyland. The band's drum major is Delaney Wells. Look how beautiful their costumes are. Sparkly gold. I hope that the TV cameras pick up the beautiful blue velvet. Looks like a perfect color for a prom dress. Now the band. Now we have some beautiful ladies coming up. That might be the Monterey Park. Uh, the Monterey Park Court. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the Monterey Park Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce is the uh, hey, we're welcoming the, the Monterey Park Chamber of Commerce. Look after all our business interests and make sure that the government or anyone else. Now, the Monterey Park Chamber of Commerce is very busy. With our business proposals. I know the recently they got some restaurants together to, to, uh, to make some very worthy donations. They are and I'm glad they're joining us today community. here in the parade, Monterey Park Chamber of Commerce. Another well, council member walking. I've got to tell you, that's council really member great. Mitchell E. He was elected well. in 2007 and re-elected in 2011. Uh, he was elected in 2007. He serves in the following committees and boards as city representative. The Independent so Cities here. Risk Management committee Association, Board of Education, City Council, Board. Joint Use Committee of the Havas School District, uh, the League of California City Cities, Cities the San Gabriel Valley Council of Governments, Council the San Gabriel Valley Cities, Economic, Cities, Economic Cities, Partnerships, Cities, California Contract Cities, Cities Association, Cities, and the Alternate for the Independent Cities Association. You know, sometimes they're really shy when they give us this information because we also know that council members supported your school, Mark Keppel, with its yes. theater production. Mitchell Ng is a very active, support, uh, supportive um, person of the Mark Keppel High School theater program and everything the Mark Keppel High School. Looks like he has his wife and his son with him. 
And so as a family man, he understands how important it is. Hi. Hey, he just said hi to me. <laughs> We're going green. We're going green. Yeah, he's going green today. Here Decided comes to the walk Mark Kepler green. Unified School Aztec Band and Color Guard I representing like the cities of all here in Monterey Park. Yeah. Under the direction of Dr. Carter Burnett. My goodness, now we have the Mark Keppel High School Band. Yes, here comes the Mark Keppel Unified School Aztec Band and Color Guard representing the cities of Alhambra and Monterey Park. Maya, you should talk about them since you know Dr. Carla Bartlett. Don't you have a class with her? Oh, yes, I take guitar with Dr. Bartlett. She's also the music director of our spring music. Um, under the direction of Dr. Carla Bartlett, today's drum major is Taffy Hugh, color guard captain Helen Lang. This is one of the reasons I love living in Monterey Park because we have high schools like Mark Keppel where I knew that you were going to become a college graduate if I sent you there. You have inspiring teachers and um, the students who are so dedicated. All of these students that are in the band, you know how many hours that they do homework and they practice their instrument and they practice their drill routines. Congratulations to Mark Keppel High School Band and Dr. Carla Bartlett for all she contributes to Monterey Park. I think it's fun to personally know the people that are going through the parade, as well as have guests that we don't know. I recognize some faces from Guys and Dolls. Miss Victoria was just leading. You can name anybody that you know. Oh. Here's our drum major, Taffy Hugh. The Parent Booster Club is so important in contributing, raising money for the for the um, costumes, the instruments, which is all very expensive. I love the parents of Mark Keppel High School. Oh goodness! And now we have Navarro's towing, which is. Uh, I'm so glad that they're joining us today. I hope that I don't have to use Navarro's towing, but I'm glad that they are here when we need them, carrying some hail, hay bales. And now we have Radio 690 AM also joining us in the parade. It's all right. Of course, AJ's not here, naturally. Radio 690 AM. La Vaz del Pueblo. One of the hottest radio stations in the Hispanic market, and they're doing very well. Ladies and gentlemen, coming down here, let's welcome Miss Monterey Park. Oh, and now we see in the upcoming red truck, red car, is a Miss Monterey Park. You know, I should have known before that it wasn't Miss Monterey <laughs> Park because look at they have the beautiful crowns on. Mm -hmm. Deserving right next of the... is a member of the court. Wow, look at that. Miss Monterey Park and a member of her court. Hey, hey, can they, how are you today? You know, in order to become Miss Monterey be Park, it's not and only beauty, it's poise and intelligent and charm. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the wave. Let's and the wing. The California Youth Spirit Corps. Oh, she's so cute. They're both it's so beautiful. By the Sandy Real Valley YMCA. 
And now we have the California Youth Spirit Corps. Go Tigers! The California Youth Spirit Corps is sponsored by the San Gabriel Valley YMCA. The group was formed in 1987 and co-directed by Sandra Cox. As we are seen marching on a parade today, the students range in ages from 5 to 14 years old and are from the city of La Puente, West Covina, Pomona, Roland Heights, San Dimas, and Almont. All of our neighbors. What a diversity. Well, I can see why they're called the Spirit Corps. They're getting the, the crowd cheering also. Yes. As they're showing us today, this group teaches self-confidence, teamwork, and spirit. The Youth Spirit Corps would like to point out that they are welcoming new members anytime to their enthusiastic group. always so much fun when they have like a, a, a varying ranges. We're going all the way down to the little ones who have just as much spirit. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Beautiful little ladies. And what did I always tell you when you were little, Maya? Not, not, not only is it important to be beautiful, it's important to be smart too. That's right. They have lots of self-confidence and spirit, and that's exactly what they have. Oh my gosh, another another little tiny group. Now they must be four, five-year-old. Oh my gosh. And now comes a tradition of our neighbors to the south, Mexico. What a wonderful opportunity to young people be groups like these provide. That's what the Monterey Park Play Days is all about. And now we're going to be having a short break. Invite the audience to come back after we're over. Hi, welcome to Monterey Park's Play Days Parade. I'm Roberta Villa. This is my daughter, Maya Villa. Hello, Maya Villa. And right now, Maya, we're just in time for Rancho Talavera from Riverside, California. Look at the way they make the horses dance. I think those horses are um, better dancers than I am. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That takes lots of practice. This is one of the reasons that I love the Monterey Park Play Days Parade, because of all the diversity that's represented here in the city, is represented here in the parade. like the Atlanta Braves. Oh, they're little too. T-ball is so much fun to watch. Was it fun to play? Oh, yes, it was. Look at them waving their little hats. Up next, we have the Dodgers team. This is Monterey Park's T-ball league for 2011. Sons and daughters with their coaches who volunteer their time. Another Dodger team. Go Dodgers. Oh, it 
looks like this team has a little little cheerleaders coming out of the park. Well, we have the West San Gabriel Valley Boys and Girls Club. You know, I used to work there. You went there when you were little. We know they're a really good organi organization. Yes, the goal of the Boys and Girls Club is to provide every child with essential tools needed for a successful and bright future. They strive to improve each child's life by building strong self-esteem, courage, and positive values through all their education programs. If kids receive tutoring, computer training, sports education, homework help, and mentoring. If you are looking for an exciting place for your children to learn and grow, a rewarding volunteer opportunity, or a qualified organization to receive your kind donation, the Boys and Girls Club of West San Gabriel Valley has a place for you. That's right. Right across from Barnes Park, next to the library. Perfect location. Great place for kids to go when you know their parents are working and they can't go home after school, or maybe just because they want to socialize and be a part of some teams and get computer training. And now we have another uh, another neighbor band visiting us. Yes. We have the Madrid Middle School marching band. The Madrid Middle School Band is uh, comprised of 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students from Almonte, California. The mascot is the Bulldog, and they are led by drum major Charlie Newman. They're performing us today, the School Parade March. The Bulldog Band and Auxiliary Units are directed by Nancy Atalano and Mitch Rodriguez. I love the way their flags are waving in the wind. We have a beautiful day today. We always get lucky. I don't remember. I've been hosting the parade, I think, since 1995. I don't remember a day that we've had rain. I actually remember one day when I was very little. I sat across from you, and I had my blanket over my head because it was sprinkling that day. Uh-oh. But you're right. Most of the time, we do get very lucky. The Madrid Middle School Band is waiting to perform. We're very close to the judges stand. And here they go. And they were ready, even the um, I guess the banner holders are part of the performance. Yes, so they're elegant dance moves in the beginning of the march. It's not as easy as it looks, right, Maya? Right. by the drill team. Some new the moves for a drill team I hadn't seen before. That's right. Thanks for joining us. Oh, and now we have walking up to us the Cub Scout Pack 329 of Brightwood Elementary School with, Go ahead. Cub, with Cub Master Paul Wong. Go ahead, Maya. 
You went to Brightwood I'm School. I'm a graduate of Brightwood Elementary School myself, and I had a lot of friends who were in the Boy Scouts. They grew up to be very successful and polite boys. Look at these. There's Cub Scout Pack 329. Should I say young adults at this point? Do your best. Of course, the Scout motto is be prepared, so it's you do your best at being prepared. <laughs> and the parents are here supporting Cub Scout Pack 329. Oh, look at all those badges. Look how excited those two seem to be in the parade talking with each other. Ladies and gentlemen, And the, the Monterey Park, Park Police Department now, fire truck. Looks like it's the Lamp Optimist the Club Lamp Optimist on Fire Club. Engine 118. You know, the Optimists do some wonderful things. Of course, they have the boys home up in You know, the in Monterey Pasadena, Park, we have a lot of service clubs. So and right the now, this is uh, the Lamp Optimist Club. When I was Optimist president, it was a real thrill. Hey, guys. Nice to see you. Thank you for the fire truck. Oh, my Very goodness. Nice. It's a Los Angeles County fire department fire truck that, that they're on. Sea Star Pleasure Riders. That means the Monterey Park Lamp Optimist Club. It's a family affair. We have some more horses. We have the Sea Star Pleasure Riders. The, They're a the, family uh, and fun oriented group that displays a variety of costumes and horses. All right, the gravy family. They love, love to bring their horses their out to communities for kids to, to see and, and enjoy. Daughter enjoy. Lindsay is riding in a fancy Daughter Western Lindsay costume. Mom Pat is in her working Western gear, and son David is wearing a fun Indian costume. There's one more there that snuck in on me. Oh, I used to ride a beautiful Pinto okay. horse when I went to Ramona Convent High School. And there you go, the Playdays Parade, another family group going by. Well, we have I'm so happy that we have so many horses in our the starting show. line, but will be right with us. Uh, We're having a good time this weather. I would say riding the horses is great, great uh, are weather, part of green energy saving. And this little, this little uh, space here will give us a chance for the... So we're right up. now... Uh, very close to the intersection of Ramona and Garvey, right by the Monterey Park Post Office. And it's Monterey Park's 95th birthday. I remember having a t-shirt that said 75 years, 20 years has gone by since I first started doing the parade. I'm so glad you're joining me today, Maya. I remember that shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, representing like the city of Norwalk, it's had it in torn, so in 20 years, Norwalk, difference from that to that. We need a new 95, a 95th Under the birthday t-shirt. And right Phelps, now we have another group coming up. This is one of the last surviving youth bands in Southern California. The band serves students from the cities of Norwalk, Yes, it's the Norwalk La Mirada, City Youth Band. Lakewood, Cerritos, Bellflower, Representing the city of Norwalk, Norwalk, please everyone welcome the Norwalk All City Youth Band. Under the direction of Tom Phillips, this is one of the last surviving youth bands in Southern California. When they were created to celebrate our country's bicentennial. You know, this band serves students from the cities of Norwalk, La Mirada, Lakewood, Cerritos, Bellflower, Santa Fe Springs. They've traveled extensively all over the United States while earning hundreds of awards since their beginning in 1976 when they were created to celebrate the country's bicentennial. Anyone can be a member. Just call the city of Norwalk for more information. They're always looking for new members. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring them in. The Norwalk All City Youth Band. We have a baton twirler leading the band. While we're waiting for the band, we want to thank MPK TV for bringing you the Monterey Park Play Days Parade. We knew the crew worked so hard to get this parade on. You have no idea.
waiting for the judges to be ready. blowing and now they're beginning. <clears throat> oh, she caught it. Nice. Very nice. still have lots of families watching the parade today. I see lots of umbrellas. I think everyone thought it was going to rain. Instead, we're blessed with sunny sky. Now they have a nice little shade. Like we have Miss Taiwanese. I think so. Teen Taiwan uh, US, Miss Teen Taiwan US. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Miss uh, Taiwanese is it's here. Like, it's We've a, got, uh, a Ms. whole court. We have preteen, Miss Teen Taiwan US Queen. And I see Michelle someone Hall. a lot younger Ms. than a teenager Teen in the Taiwanese car. US Queen Connie Mung. Miss Junior Taiwan World Queen. We have Arena. a Miss Junior and World Queen uh, along with Jackson us. Chairman, Miss Taiwan Foundation is just standing right here in front of me with the uh, camera in his hand. Yes, I think we right have Junior. There you junior go. Junior. That's Jack. And then our Miss Taiwan. Right. <laughs> Look at these lovely young ladies. <laughs> what lovely young ladies. I'm not a judge in that competition. Thank you. Blowing kisses to the crowd and the judges. Miss Taiwanese, all right. Well done. Had some careful driving going down the, Garvey the, the Avenue. Guy, uh, you know, you can press you better if you honk your horn in the car. You're blowing the... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> For more information, you can look at MissTaiwan.org. Ladies and gentlemen, the Moscow Middle School band is under the direction of Miss Helen Taylor. and They've been recognized as one of the finest young bands in the San Gabriel Valley. Hi, thanks for joining us. Be back in the Monterey Park and we have another middle school band parade. further down Ladies Garvey making its way up. Together, 
to the intersection of Garvey and Ramona. The Muscatel Middle School Band is under the direction of Mrs. Helen Taylor and has been recognized as one of the finest young bands in the San Gabriel Valley. The Marching Mustangs are pleased to be back in the Monterey Park uh, Play Days Parade so that they can participate. Rosemead is so close to us, they're definitely one of our neighbors. The Marching Mustangs. California, Muscatel Middle School Marching Band. Welcome back to the Monterey Park Play Days Parade. My name is Roberta Villa. I'm here with Maya Villa. And this is the Wilmington Middle School Band. Uh, they are joining us from Wilmington, California. They're under the direction of Samuel Thompson. Let's give these kids a round of applause. Looks like they're the marching Jaguars. to college in September. It looks like we have Alpha Phi Omega, which looks like a college service group. Alpha Phi Omega. I'm sure everyone at home can see that they have a sign about friendship and service. And that's what we love to see is young people committed to friendship and service. 
you know, as you go through the parade and you're seeing all these young people um, with economic hard times, we need the support of the community. We need people to volunteer. I just can't imagine not having uh, all these opportunities that we see witnessed in the parade today. Yes, it's important for the children to be so actively involved with something community oriented. That's right, spirit, teamwork. Garvey Avenue, right next to the United States Post Office that's in Monterey Park. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next are the students from Don Lugo High School and its two feeder schools, Briggs Junior High School and Ramona Junior High Schools. They're the first time that all three schools have combined to perform in the parade. They're calling themselves the Northwest Chino Youth Band. Under the direction of Jim Belsemeyer from Don Lugo High School and Director We're waiting Doug for Jones another for youth Brick band to start. Yes, the Northwest Chino Youth Band. They're performing to the March of Miss Chino Liberty youth band. by Harry King. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for the Northwest Chino Youth Band. That's okay, Maya, that's what moms are for. <laughs> Northwest Chino Youth Band. You know, this is an interesting group because it's students from the Don Lugo High School and two feeder schools, Briggs Junior High and Ramona Junior High School Bands. So that's one of the ways to deal with the economic times is by putting the two junior high school feeder groups in with the high school band. Yes, and this is the first time that all three schools have combined to perform in the parade. What a great opportunity for them. They're under the direction of Jim Binzelmeyer and from Don Lugo High School from, and director Doug Jones from Briggs and Ramona Junior High School Bands. They will be performing to the March of Miss Liberty by Carrie King. Let's put our hands together for the Northwest Chino, Chino, Chino Youth Band. Band. <laughs> I almost said China too. Chino Youth Band. that you've been joining me today and uh, we have another group coming up the extreme cheer um, they're under the direction of Hilda Escobar the extreme cheer youth sports organization and they're going on their 11th year let's listen Special events all over California. We've seen them in the Hollywood Christmas parade. We've seen them in 
them in the Hollywood Christmas Parade. Another join yesterday. We have some famous movie vehicles from Star Car Central. First, we have all, the way, all the way from Camarillo. John Hunter with Bumblebee from the Transformers live action film. Oh, that's exciting. That car's coming up right now. Bumblebee's my favorite. Ooh, look at that hot Mustang. Following him is Jason Yeva, a former resident of Monterey Park, now resides in Alhambra with Rex. <laughs> okay, sorry, that's a Camaro. G1 cartoon. That's a hot Camaro. There's the Chevy symbol Jason on the front. Part of, yeah, part of, uh, you know, I'm not a car person. I just know what looks good. Jason was, uh, was part of the Power Rangers franchise between 1994 and 2004. You know, all the way from Camarillo, John Merker with the Bumblebee. So it was that the car from the Transformer film? And now following it's him totally is Jason Navarra, a former resident of Monterey Park who now resides in Alhambra with Ratchet from the Transformers G1 cartoon. Jason was part of the Power Rangers uh, franchise between 1994 and 2004 as both actor and stuntman. Look on top of the car. It looks like a little mini robot. What a fun addition to our Pleiades Parade. I'm sure a lot of these kids have been Wow. Uh, the car is making music. So now I see why this is Star Car Central because uh, they have a car from Magnum PI, really famous TV show. Is that Bernie there? How are you doing there? And I know this was before your time, Maya, but this looks like the car that was in a movie with uh, Burt Reynolds called The Bandit. No, I think that's a Trans Am, right? Oh yeah, Trans Am. Back to the future. Those were like the hot cars in my day. Get fast enough, you'll go back to the future. Do and look, so exciting! We have a Back to the Future car coming up right now. Alright, woo! Oh, this is <gasps> great! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> 1.21 gigawatts! Get those sparks going! <laughs> the Back to the Future films were so great. Oh, wow! Back to the Future! Back to the Future! To do. Ladies and, gentlemen, and now we have Sherry's Got a Dance drill team. They've been with us for so many parades, Maya. They're a team of talented performers. Sherry's Got a Dance drill team is a crack precision, highly disciplined, award winning drill team. They're under the director of Sherry Wharf. They have assistants Ashley, Gigi, and Lathena, and the leadership of Morgan. This team practices an average of 8 to 12 hours a week. And I was wondering where they were because they've, um, they always bring so much excitement and energy to the Monterey Park Play Days Parade. I remember the mom, I mean, you can forget those beautiful costumes. And, like you said, energy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great job as always. Now we have the Monterey Park Sports, Club. Sports, Club. Sports, Club. Sports Club. Sports Club Pony. Sports Club Pony. In ASA programs, which run both the spring and full season. The, and full season. the Monterey Park Girls ASA, ASA State Tournament Cash Pitch is qualified to represent the district of the ASA State Tournament in two previous years of their existence. You'll be heading to the district tournament and intend to qualify for the third straight year. Jay Semper is the commissioner, and Marty Gonzalez is VP of the baseball baseball team, and Tom is the VP of the softball team. Wow! Do the enthusiasm and the is really cheering for them. With their coaches and their fathers and their team moms. Now we got the Pirates. The, you know, the banners is always so much fun. The, Yankees. We can hear the kids cheering, let's go Yankees, let's go. Ooh. And the Angels. Monterey Park Angels. 
Angels. Right by the socks. Angels, we have the Monterey Park Angels. Your socks are black, sir. And you know, Maya, there's huh? nothing like uh, memories of um, baseball, huh? softball, huh? Little League. We have, a, we have a famous Pitchers. author, Jesse Katz, who wrote a book about Monterey Park Ashford, Little League. Whatever else is up there. And the memories will last yes. uh, forever for all these kids and all these parents. What a good team. All right, guys. Nice job. Oh, Maya, this is the end of the Monterey Park Play Days Parade, the first parade that you joined me as a host. It's been a lovely time hosting this parade for not celebrating the 95th birthday of Monterey Park. That's right. And uh, uh, thanks for all the family and the friends that were watching. Hi, Mies. Hi, Grandma. Hi, hi everyone. We can't name you all, but uh, we want to sign out now with the Walnut High School Band. And we want to thank you for joining us. Hi. MPK TV, Maya. MPK TV. Yes, here is the Walnut High School Band under the direction of Buddy Clemens from Walnut, California. Let's get... Let's give them a watch. I know that's what you were going to say, right? Once again, beautiful, sparkling uniforms. Look at the, the flag girls. Look at the beautiful smiles. Ladies, 